All right, gentlemen, come on now. Let's get the energy high right out of the gates here. Mikey V, Giuseppe D, in the house. Where are the fellas? We got no cameras on right now. Bear down sporting the Yankees. Bear down, I got to say, I, I hope the Yankees game isn't on in the back because I'm not going to be able to focus. I, I will not be able to focus if you have the oh, you're not gonna be able, You're not going to be able to see it. You're not uh, you'd be it. surprised, Bear down. I'm seeing corners there. Does that mean they got out of the – I'll start you off right now. The fact that there's a commercial right now, yeah. uh -huh. they got out of that inning right there. I don't know because I was getting on the computer, so I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just letting you know. If I'm not myself today, it's because Bear Down's playing the Yankee game. My it's my I'm just fault. Just letting you Noted. know. I always have Noted. my A stuff, which I don't think I get enough credit for. But I'm just letting you know right now. If I don't have my A stuff today, it's because Bear Down is playing Yes Network Yankee game going on in the back. Meanwhile, Giuseppe has no idea what's going on from his end. We got a lot to get into today, boys. I want to keep energy high. Can I just get a round of applause from everybody today? Come on. Come on. Let's fire it up now. Let's fire it up. Let's fire it up. Joe, that's a no great bottle of water you have. By the that is the number one bottle of water out there. And I will I'll tell you this about Joe. If you go to Joe's house, one thing that you can expect is that his water game is very, very elite. That, to me, that Essentia bottle is the best bottle around. I mean, I'm drinking it. What kind of response is that? Like, what? Come on, man. Like I, I, I'm, I'm putting it on a platter for you and that's how we get going here. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to hit a fucking, you know, something that's just been lobbed up to me. You know, I, it's, it's a great water. Yeah. It's, it's good water. I, I, I take pride in my well, own. Were you, were you complaining about the water situation at his house during football season or am I imagining? Well, am I, I think calling that wrong because, because I think since I complained about the water situation, he's, he's amped it up. The thing with Joe is he'll get these massive big bottles. Like Joe will do like, he'll get like 12 of the big Fiji waters or something like that, rather than going like a 30 pack of spring, and then you treat yourself, then do like a six case of Fiji on top of that. By the way, are you sure the, the Yankees got out of that inning, Bear Down? Because I'm seeing them. You know, what you, this is going to drive What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's the fourth uh, game of the season, I Bob. Know. I know. But I will tell you this. Yeah, I they got out of the inning. They're at bat. They did. Okay. He's I a believe, sick and twisted individual. I believe that the Yankees coming back has really – revived the gamblers digest the group chat even more well for you guys i need base but i need baseball yeah i gotta yeah, but, have it <laughs> but Kutsi, you're getting into the yankees because right now you're a bit of a free agent so we're getting into the yankees yeah the problem is that these games they don't mean anything you could lose 10 in a row and no one would bat an eye it's it's yeah. that i've always had a problem with the baseball season is too long it's two seasons in one you know if they condense it the baseball gets you know instrumentally better they're just they're just trying to find reasons and then you get the the rain delays and the rain outs and you have played two three the games. weather the it, weather is annoying it's outrageous I will, I will say the weather aspect is annoying it's really the only major sport where that's really a concern they should have a mandatory rule that every stadium has a retractable roof we're in the 21st century now i mean like, what a lot of we... tax it's a lot of tax dollars though giuseppe yeah well joe will spend everyone else's money it's not his problem <laughs> <laughs> um, gentlemen, I want to get into this because I think this is going to be very special. Before anything, all eyes on April 22nd, Mikey V pulling off to me. I mean, this is like a dream come true for me. You know how much I love Rayo's Hollywood. I mean, it, it is everything to me. Giuseppe saw me walk in there yesterday like I was home. I'd been gone no, for two and a half no. weeks. I was so happy to be back. The there. hostess knew his name, Bear Down, and you swear Bob went. He, he grew like three inches when she said, it's "Great, Robbie." It was it was ridiculous. Because I, I really mean, he spends more time in there than the bar stools, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but and then you know it was just he, he was in his element from the and then the of course he's trying to play it down like he doesn't care, but you know he cares, Bear Down. Like the lady said, "Oh, Robbie," he's like. Oh, you know my name? Yeah. <laughs> As if he wasn't like no, banking nice. on her. He probably <laughs> called prior to coming in and said, Oh, yeah, which hostess is working the door tonight? Just so he knew that no. they were my name. 
I'm saying he's a sick individual, this guy. Oh, he's definitely a sick individual. There's no question about that. He he's definitely wants to be sick. recognized. He, listen, he, I, I will say this, is that when you find consistency somewhere in life, in all aspects of life, and particularly in food, a lot of times I find Great myself the same way. When you find consistency in such a critical area of your life, it is sometimes the wisest play to just ride that train out as far as you could ride it, as far as it'll take you till the wheels fall off, because it's just, it's, it's reliable in a world of uncertainty. It's you're buying a certain amount of certainty and that's very difficult to come across. Well, that's like you're saying. So it's insane. like the old, it's like the old adage. If it's not breaking, don't fix it. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's if it's not if, if it's, it's not, not broke, broke don't, don't yeah fix yes it. yes Joe that's the Canadian version again we know <laughs> slightly different versions north of the border but um, no but again the world is such an uncertain place especially now that if you can buy an aspect of certainty in any arena I I don't knock it because there was a good point in my life where I was eating like the same exact things every single You're, day the for same the lunch same every day every day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, know I, I go getting. to one place all the time. Yeah. Well, that I, is our most, uh, you know, animalistic, you know, instincts. You know, the bear eats a deer every single day. Does maybe sometimes eat some berries, but like they, they they don't they don't diversify the way we do. They're not having Chinese and then Mexican and then you know it's yeah. They stick yeah. with what what they stick with something. So, Bob, why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Well, because just, in the uh, beginning, I, I think he 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 was a little mystified that you knew the dietary uh, the dietary aspects of a bear. But I think when you came back to the when you drew it back to the it doesn't bounce around to different types of cuisine. Then I think you kind of tied it up nice. But in the beginning, I wasn't sure where you were going. Either it started that. out. It started out pre haywire, Joe. It started out. I mean, but, the point is that we're all in, in intrinsically we're animals. You know what I mean? Like. You know, basically what we need to survive is protein. We need protein to survive, you know, which is why now all these vegans and stuff is outrageous because these people are making up food that shouldn't oh even boy. exist. And bottom wait. line, <laughs> oh, God. bottom line is, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm over here like the liver king putting down, you know, you know, ripe bone marrow, oh, but at the bottom oh line my, is. By the way, Joe, I finally, I, the liver king, I finally saw videos of this guy. That's nuts, I man. mean, are you absolutely kidding me with a guy he's like this? Now, I hope there he's now. not. He's now, Bob, usually, Bob, when I go into tangents like this, Bob usually yells at me because the guy, unbeknownst to me, is like a follower of Bob, and, you know, God forbid he loses a follower. You know? <laughs> it's Christian Kirk. Want Bob to lose. As long as we're not talking about Christian Kirk. The, I'm not talking about Christian, but this guy, the liver king, give me a break. Give me a break with this guy eating. I mean, raw it's pretty fucking fascinating, meat. It's, you know? It's not fascinating at all. The guy's a jackass. The guy's like a jackass. Animal. I understand that he's a that's just a jackass. And, and by the way, Baron, if we get this guy never gets state, sick, he's so more he's shredded than you sick. are. Oh, 100%. Did we is. have to, did we go? Is I'm that just where saying, like, the guy is Bob, shredded. This guy, no, this, he guy, is. this guy is jacked out of his mind. I mean, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's if all you that think, protein. If you think all, if, let me explain something to you. If it's you protein. think all this guy's doing is eating raw liver, okay, and that's his only thing he's putting into his body to get like that, I got a this, bridge. To are you no accusing way. the liver okay. king of using oh, steroids? Oh, is that way? Hold on here. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't Hold think on there's here. some type of performance in him. Oh, if you don't think there's some type of I think it's all natural, bear down. Play. You do, Joe? Yeah, now well, that's just that's a stick. Bear that, down. Now, now Bobby, now. we can even ask, you know, who's a good friend of the Liver King is Mr. Force Galante. We could, we could fact check this because Bear Down's making but, claims. But that Bear Down, this guy's got a lot of notoriety right now. So I just want to make sure before we go out there and say this, <laughs> you are accusing that the, the Liver King is on some <laughs> sort of performance enhancing drugs. I think that the Liver King is on prescription anabolic steroids and prescription, <laughs> and prescription growth hormone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And just want to no, make sure. And listen. And listen, let me tell you something. He's got a prescription from the doctor, I guarantee, because the guy probably makes a lot of money doing what he does. He's probably got a nice program going with a wellness doctor, all legitimate scripted stuff. So when I say he's on performance enhancers, you see, it doesn't carry the stigma that it did in the 80s and the 90s. These guys now, you go to doctors. They prescribe this stuff for you. It's not, he's probably in his 40s, he looks like, early 40s, late 30s, whatever he is. At that point, the doctor will say your test levels are low. I'm going to prescribe this to you. 
your growth levels are low. That's just, that's like a totally normal thing now. In life. I mean, this guy so I'm not saying crazy. it like, oh, this guy's a scumbag. He's cheating. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's no way that this guy is not on prescription anabolics or growth hormone. There's I, just I don't know. Um, I think he's as, just on natural, like he eats an no, all Joe. protein diet. As Joe. Aaron Hicks pops Joe. out to second base there. Two outs. Most likely. Runner on first. Um I do want to say, and and Cutsy, we, we both agreed that this had to be brought up. Um, something that was very disappointing to me. Bear Down, as we know, will be the first to tell you that he is in the top 5% of the Peloton world. And Bear Down is ready to take anybody on in the Peloton. He's ready for Jake Paul. He's gone at now the Liver King. And in regards to the, to the Peloton, he, Jake Paul. He, he, this is a pre- Pretzel job already. It's, it's not a pretzel, pretzel job. Okay. It's not a pretzel. I never Kutsi, wanted Jake Paul back... about Peloton. I said I would fight Jake Paul if I was given a year Have you to not train. mentioned numerous times that if you got on a Peloton next to Jake Paul, he would stand no chance? No, oh, that's accurate. Okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> I don't think I ever said that, but that's he accurate. holds himself to the highest regards in regard to yes. that Peloton. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yesterday morning, I got off of the treadmill. We were oh, yeah. talking about working out, and I said, Bear Down, uh, I think we have yeah. met your match in the Peloton <laughs> game. Goes by okay. the name of Paul Swan, okay? He the was Swan on the Pantry Song. Boys. He's from Milwaukee. He is part of Austin Dillon's pit crew for NASCAR. Bear Down takes a look in the Paul Swan and realizes mm-hmm. that he wants nothing to do with Paul Swan and that he's No, no, pit- that's not what happened at first. At first, he, he, he mocked him. You. He At mocked, first, he did mock Paul Swan. You're right. He I was apologize. wearing a fluorescent, like, 80s yes. outfit. I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't mock. I Big. sent a picture of him. I said, is this the guy? Is this the guy? Is, he said, is, this, said. The is guy? this the guy? Is this the guy that's yeah. going to beat me in Peloton? Since Paul Swan, mocking. by the way, big-time friend of the pod. I'm a huge Paul Swan guy. Well, but, we both follow each other on Instagram now. Did that I, happen? I consider him, yes, I consider him a dear friend now. So, so. then <laughs> I think, Cutsy, and correct me if I'm wrong. But then he dug a little deeper into Paul Swan and he realized he wanted the just, analytics. He wanted his rides. He well, but, but, but he saw just how shredded Paul Swan is. Well, no, no, let me, let me, let me relay what happened. Cause I have a very, you know, very vivid memory on these things. If oh, you don't say so yeah. yourself. It, it started out with Bob was saying that this guy could go toe to toe. It'd be fun if maybe we did like a Peloton ride between yeah. the two of them. Bob sent out a photo, which was not the most flattering photo. It looked like he was from Saved by the Bell. He had the fluorescent 80s fit on. Bear Down mocked Paul Swan. He didn't know who he was, granted. But then Bob goes and proceeds to say that, well, Bear Down, what you should realize is this guy was the strength and conditioning coach for Bowling Green University. Which, which, and which then apparently he turned was out not, what happened. Turned out to be false. Turned out to be the, false. The, My apologies. The, the switch is flipped. And Bear Down goes from mocking this guy to all of a sudden wanting nothing to do with the actual ride against him. In the, and, and even went to lengths, Bob, to say that if we were to bet on this, I would bet, quote unquote, bet against myself and I would be a plus 250. Plus 250. Before plus even seeing the statistics from correct. Paul Swan. That's correct. Then what happened? And by the way, if I could just stop you there, Joe, which is very disappointing because now, because Bear Down holds himself to such a high regard on the Peloton, we hold Bear Down to such a high regard. Yes, we do. Uh, this is this we is do. Just classic, classic and pretzel master. Bullshit, Joe, I'll let you finish is... before he even saw the <laughs> analytics. Yes, he, Bear Down said as well that he would put himself at a plus two fifty. Yes, underdog in a twenty to thirty minute Peloton pop ride. Got to, I'll let you finish. Then, then <laughs> we con- <laughs> we continue down. The, you know the the the, the circle of emotions. <laughs> He started getting pissed off at Bob because he wanted him to send his Peloton username so he could search up his statistics. Finally, Bob gets out of the shower, whatever the hell he's doing. He sends him the information. Bear down quicker than you could you could think is all of a sudden looking at stats and then realizes that his stats are indeed better than Paul Swan's. So then the switch is flipped yet again. And he says, you know, I don't want to race him. We're dear friends. And quite frankly, he's not in my in my wheelhouse. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, but the point is bear down. Wait, wait, you um, should have had conviction. All right. Can I, whenever whenever you guys give me, we got it. Yeah. We got it. We got to let him, we got to, we got to let him have it. (laughs) We got to let him have his word by the way. And again, I do just want to say, I mean, Mm. if you saw Paul Swan come on pantry, but he's fantastic. He's got a lot of energy. 
he's just a fight. You know, I saw him at the world. He's just a fun guy to be around. We just wanted to give Paul, Paul Swan the shout out that he deserves. Go ahead. Bear down. First of all, shout out to Paul Swan. I didn't know who he was until yesterday, wow. Bob, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? You don't- so this is how our chats go. Just so everyone on the other side of the monitor watching this can really understand what kind of sick shit goes on in this chat. It's a Sunday morning. You know, I've been up for hours now with my children taking care of a household. These two jackasses wake up from whatever hangover or whatever bender they were on the night before. Okay. Bob wakes up. Good for Bob. Good on Bob. Now cuts is cuts is barely rolling out of bed. His hair is disheveled. God knows where he's coming from. Bob has hit the gym. Good for Bob. Bob has just come out of the gym. All I had said simply was, you know, boys, I got to get on the bike today. I, I need a big time ride. I need a bounce back ride. Uh, didn't do anything yesterday. Friday night had a long night. It was a long night. I, I got to bounce back today. Bob starts sending out of nowhere, just creates this contest out of nowhere, trying to get me to compete with an absolute stranger. Now, I don't know Paul Swan from from, you know, from from Paul Newman. I don't know who this guy is. So obviously I do a little quick homework background check. I check his page. The first picture I see is him in a, like a fluorescent jacket. So I said, is this the guy? OK. Um, and then Bob tells me he's a strength and conditioning coach at a division one college. Uh, I see now I didn't know he was a pit guy in NASCAR. I thought he was a NASCAR race driver. I don't know. I saw him with NASCAR gear. I don't know NASCAR. Well, I don't know that sport, you did but see I, I understand to me that NASCAR drivers are technically considered professional athletes. NASCAR race drivers are professional athletes from what I understand. Is that correct. not correct? correct. Okay. No problem. Well, now, I thought that's what this guy was. I had no idea he was a pit boss. So you're telling me he's a strength and conditioning coach at a division one college. I think he's a NASCAR driver. I'm like, so Bob wants to pit me up against a professional athlete to do a bike ride. Okay, fine. I'm going to put myself as the underdog in that situation because I would imagine this gentleman has been getting paid to train his body for quite some time as opposed to myself who I don't get paid jack shit to work out. I just do it because I don't feel like dying in a month. That's in my sick head. That's why I work out because I want to give my family the longest version of Mikey V I could deliver to them. Okay. And the brilliant of all joke. of you people. I want, right. Exactly. I want to give all you people the longest version of Mikey V I could possibly deliver a peak condition. Mikey V now, all that being said, the username on the Peloton was sent to me. I requested to follow him. He accepted. He requested to follow me. I accepted. So we could both see all of our ride metrics. I'll be honest. I was surprised when I saw his ride metrics, he rides pretty frequently now, his ride metrics, are they up to snuff with my ride metrics? No, the answer is no. But I don't know. Maybe Jay, uh, maybe uh, what's his, Jake Paul. Paul, Paul Swan. Swan, Paul Swan. Perhaps Paul doesn't use the Peloton as like his primary exercise equipment. Maybe he needs perhaps a coach. that to him is just like a, perhaps that to him. Yeah, maybe he just goes on there and rides, you know, and doesn't really. That's not his primary workout. Maybe he's a runner. Maybe he goes outside and I have no fucking idea. But obviously, Bob is trying to turn this into now bear down scared of him. This isn't the bear down we know and love. And then Cutsy jumps in on it. And how could bear down bet against himself? This isn't the bear down. I know. Yada, 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 yada. Trying to pretzel me into a corner once again, once again. No, and it's not trying the to bottom do line is, I like this. I think he's a good guy. I'll ride him on the Peloton if he wants to ride. I'd be more but than let happy me ask to, you this, to ride against him. Let me ask you this. Now knowing, and now maybe he'll seen, smoke me. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll open up and smoke me. Who knows? Now seeing the metrics. Okay. Yeah. You've seen yeah. the metrics. I have. You know odds. You know Vegas. What would you say the honest odds are if we live stream you Bear know, Down favored. versus Pulse One? What do you put the honest odds at? Honestly, I would think that, you know, so this is, and another thing, this is how Vegas works. Now the line opened at me as a, as a dog, but as certain information became available, the line moved. That happens just like in regular sports. If the line right now, I had to set the line right now, I would have to say that I'm probably minus 155, minus 155. I like the line. I like the line. And I think if we did, a 20 minute pop ride live stream advantage Paul Swan, Paul Swan on a 20 on it, minute Bob? ride, by the way, why, advantage why Paul advantage? Swan. Cause why? Cause endurance I'm, I'm an endurance rider, Bob. I'm a 45 minute hour. Oh, I hear I'd rather go an hour ride. against them. But can we That's do it? Can we do a 30 minute For ride? The people, yeah, we could do a 20 minute ride. 
Because I, do, I mean, we're not people is interest will not be peaked in an hour. Twenty I minutes. No, I think that I actually mean. find. Well, I think how would we do it, Bob? Would we do a joint live on Instagram? The way that we would run it, yeah, it would be me and you hosting it, Joe. You do Mikey <laughs> B on one screen. You do Swan on the other screen. Swan would bring the energy on the IG live. I think it'd be wildly entertaining. I think we let the brilliant unfaithful bet on it. And I think it would be quite the spectacle. And who's, the, who's one book, might who's, say it would be the first. Booking this? Who's booking this? I mean, one You're might book it? might be the first uh, ever planned Peloton ride off. Who's doing this? And my other question to you, Bear Down, was who would your instructor be? My instructor? Yeah. Uh, well, I would say that the, the who gets the most out of me in, in rides, usually my, my personal records are usually with uh, Kendall Tool. Usually. Oh, I thought you were going to say Leanne For whatever Hainsby. reason, she's very, very aggressive. Hainsby okay. is like, no, Hainsby's like a good mood rider for me. In all seriousness. The tool gets very, think, very intense. She's very you, intense. Do you do you think that the instructor would have much of an effect on it as the Blue Jays ground out the third base there going on now bottom four? <laughs> um. No, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't do a passive rider like I would, or a passive instructor. I would never put on like Sam Yo. He's way too like Zen. Okay. I would need to be in like a certain zone to do so this. So I, I really think, I think I'll I end up getting, fun. I do too. I think I'll end up getting a lot of DMs about this come tomorrow when this podcast releases. And then people can bet with each other. And by, by the way, way, I think a lot of people are going to be betting money on Bear Down. Well, he's going to have for sure, he's going to have home. Court, but which is why maybe we let losing, Swan, you're gonna lose a lot of people money. Maybe maybe we let Swan bet the rider, <laughs> possibly. But you know what? To be honest with you, he can pick the, the ride. Whether the fans enjoy it or not, I'll tell you who will enjoy it, and that's me and Kati. I, I I think we will so I, I like to see Bernard in, in his in his element. I, I've I never too. seen him do I his thing. See, and, and that's why it was thing. so disappointing why he was so quick to bet against himself. Here, here, uh, and no, that's no, what bothered no, us no, too. Because he, I have because I'm a humble guy, Joe. This oh, is that is I'm not no, popular not if I've ever seen it. No, no, that's no, like no, your voice no, in the no, voiceless. It's no, such yeah, a pop out there. I thought this guy was a legitimate pro athlete. That's the honest to God truth. You're a top five percentile rider. Bear down, you post. Post your ride stats. You post your ride stats. That's for motivational than... purposes. <laughs> I haven't posted a lot of ride stats lately. Bear down. We, get, we get ride the bike stats on once a week. We get ride stats. I've it's only like been a girl ride... going to Orange Theory. Yes. No, no, it's no, every no, no. single I've, time no, he's putting no, the ride yeah, stats Bob, on there. I've been riding once a week, bro. I, I see a lot of backtracking right just, now. Yeah, I do too. No, to I'm say not. that you're humble when it in you're humble in life. When it comes to the Peloton, by no means. And I'll tell you this: when Bear, so wait, down, I come out and I say I'm the best Peloton rider ever. You say you're a top five percentile rider. That's what Peloton told me. They made a video <laughs> and everything. That's, That's fine. So you hold me, that with Joe. pride, like a badge of you, honor. You, you do. I do wear it like a badge of honor. But I wouldn't say not I'm only, a did Maximus not only Aurelius a back down when they brought the you know the the horde of 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 whatever and, and he and they had to fight the tigers. Maximus Aurelius took on anybody. That's what you're like. You're like a gladiator on the Peloton. Now, I am not Roman only of Roman descent, I am of Roman descent. Not no, only that, he... That's why I thought it was a good anal- analogy. You guys look at me like look, I was crazy. I'll tell you this. I really think it'd be good for content. And and in reality, I want to say boys, this. I, w- I just want to say one thing, Bob. Shove. Go ahead, <laughs> Mikey V. <laughs> I want to say to Paul Swan, if he's listening to this or watching this, oh, he, I'm sure he will. I have no animosity at this guy. I think he seems like he's going to win. If he thought he was going to lose, I think he's, he's, like, he's, he's a good family man. And you I guys just, are trying to turn me against a stranger. If you thought no, you were no, going to no, lose, not, you would not be saying no. we're friends. What you would be is, saying, I'm coming for this yeah, guy's yeah. throat. What this no, is, because he's he's done nothing to provoke me. He's done nothing to provoke me. He's a challenger. You guys have. He's not a challenger. Bob is, challenged me, not him. He never is, even fucking said a word. It is but he's two, up to it. He never said a word. He doesn't even know about it. Two athletic males at what? the peak of what they do that are both very competitive, going toe to toe, doing something yeah. that we have, we have never seen a Peloton race. Nobody's seen that this, before. We're, we're, and this is I'd gra- like groundbreaking. To, I'd like to add this as well. This is, so this is what Bear Down will do. Bear Down will play this card and he's going to try and buddy up with Pulse One. And Cutsy, you know as well as I do, when it comes for ride night, yeah, he's going to say, I'm riding be, for the voiceless. This will be Bear Down Super Bowl. And he will not want to lose this. And same goes for Pulse One. So when the ride comes about, I think it's going to be wildly entertaining. 
wildly entertaining. Now, Baron, and, what is going to be the attire during the ride? I'm just interested. Like, what? It's got to be the wear? Bears. If it's not the Bears headband, compression, I'll be... compression, compression. Pants. <laughs> He's already... Compression pants. I mean, compression shirt. Headband. Can we get the Bears wrap? towels. Yeah, of course I got to wear a headband. I okay. sweat profusely. Here's going to be another thing. How? Uh, what? How are we determining who the winner is? Well, we get is, is it total is. output. Is yeah. it the total I, output? That, is it the what, mileage? Is uh, it the calories? You, the calories would, is not fair because I'm no. going to burn more calories. I'm twice the size. I Whoever would, rides the furthest distance. The I furthest would defer. Yeah, I, I like uh, that. I, I would probably defer to. Furthest to distance and, isn't good either because if you have higher resistance on, your distance is going to be shorter inherently. Well, you guys are going to be doing the same. Resistance. You're going to be doing the it's same. It's got to be the output number. We got to agree to it's got to be the main output number because that's, that's just fine. like everything taken into account. That's fine. But by I mean, the way, by the way, Paul Swan has no idea about this. He's not hasn't even challenged me. This has all been cooked up and, and not what I heard. Well, isn't and that twisted. funny, gentlemen? We have Paul Swan on the line right now. Again, we have Paul Swan on the line. Paul, you're live here on the Brilliant Dumb Show. We got a question for you, Paulie. Spit the question out, spit it out hard, spit it out fast. <laughs> Here's what we got for you. If you were to go, there's a lot of buildup right now about this Peloton ride, a lot. People are talking about it, Paulie. And here's the question I have for you. If you were to go toe-to-toe with Bear Down, okay, what what way should it be judged in regards to to decide the winner? Should it be total distance? Output. Man, I got to say, we're going, it's got to be total output, right? I mean, that's that's how you decide a fucking guy on the Peloton is out. Whoa! Yeah, see, see, this, this is this doesn't mean? sound like a friendly Calories, match to me, Bob. Freaking resistance. That's everything. All the good stuff in between. You got to go output. You got I mean, go. to go output. Now, bear down. He's not going to be able to hear you because <laughs> I got the earphones on. But are you okay with going output? I would like you to tell him I'm fine with going output. It's a pleasure to speak to him, even though I'm not really speaking to him. But I want you to tell him that, Bob. And Paul, don't twist my Paul, words. He, say says it's a pleasure to speak. he says he's got okay. no problem going. He's got no problem going output. He'll beat you in any category. And he's coming for Such your a neck. scumbag, bro. Oh, bear down. Bear I, down getting a little getting a little confident over there. Yeah, yeah, he did. I, I'm glad he, everybody he, could he witness this really, and see exactly what goes I mean, on. This is oh, every day. Think, this, this guy just every can't day. just enjoy it. You know what I mean? He's I just mean, I mean, Robbie, you think this guy was was the second coming of Lance Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a duel. Well, Paulie, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up the time between you guys. We've agreed to out, but I got one last question for you. Who would be in the instructor that you would like to go to? Oh God, I mean, it's gotta be Allie Love or Kendall Tool. They're they're, they're yeah. Kendall Tool. Yeah. There you go, okay. Bear Down. Yeah, Bear Down's okay with Kendall Tool. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with Kendall Tool. Swanee, we're gonna we're gonna set something up, um, and, and we'll get this locked and loaded. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just add a little something. I'm here with I'm here with steak extraordinaire Jack Arnold right now. If I had a nice big fat tomahawk in front of my face, my output would be a hundred fucking watts better. I Whoa! Don't don't load them up too much. Don't load up too much on the steak because stay you know, nimble gotta, there, Paul. Got, yeah, stay nimble. Cold cut said we got to keep those arteries clear. You got a big bit. This is hey, the Super hey, Bowl. Cool. I know you'd love a big fat tomahawk, but we might need to get you on the Peloton with us, buddy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. That's a whole other dynamic. I like this swan guy. He's got an edge to him. Paulie, we love you, brother. I love you, brother. Uh, all right, buddy. Be good. I tell you what. That we'll doesn't sound like a friendly that. match I'm that I've ever Bob heard. Just, Bob just exposed himself in front of everybody as a pretzel master that he is. <laughs> this is he going just to exposed be himself. I specifically asked him, I specifically asked him to say something, and he completely <laughs> ignored me, completely twisted my words. I mean, that is just going to be a clip I'm going to cherish forever. It really, bear is. down. I am the. What? Bear Down's going to clip that, master. by the way. He's, he's going to clip don't, that for sure, Bear I don't Down. Say, I don't want to say Michael Buffer. It wouldn't be Bu- uh, Bruce Buffer. It wouldn't be – it would be more of like a Dana White. I got to build the fight. Like, I yeah, got to be yeah. able to promote the fight. And I'm not going to be able to promote the fight if we're just going to get buddy-buddy. I mean, yeah, war. we're not buddy-buddy. You guys no. are Clash of the Titans here. Clash of the Titans. Oh, yeah, I like the guy. Yeah, I do too. I hope you like him. I mean, listen. Him, Bear okay, Down. let me say this. Let me say this. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. I could shake Paul Swan's hand, tell him he's a brother to me, go out to dinner with him and have uh, a beer with him after the ride, during the ride, 
I will try my damnedest and do my best to beat his ass in, in the biggest possible way. I there we go. Can. There we go. Okay, I will here not, we go. I'll t- I could promise you that. I could promise go. you that. All right, we like gonna, a little hype. Not up. Like, right. It's not like I'm going to show up on the bike and be like, okay, let's just fucking spin the pedals around. Like, Tell no, the people why try. they should bet I'm on gonna... you, Bear Down. Tell the okay, folks tell why their money's There's riding no, on you. I mean, if you've been following along, the proof is in the pudding. I went from a top 10% rider to I'm probably in the top 1%. <laughs> That's what they want to hear. There he is. There he is. This is what it is. There I mean, is. you got to sell is. yourself, Bear Down. You're selling tickets Okay, here, let's, let's, let's change gears for a second here. Okay, let's change gears for a second. <laughs> Gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens simply because I wanted to be – healthier it's no game they get the job done every single time whether it's the vitamins whatever supplement you're taking from athletic greens it's an absolute no-brainer for gut health and also what i've noticed mental health tons of people take some kind of multivitamin and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb your subscription comes with a year supply of vitamin d which is so important to add in these winter months when we don't get as much sunlight even during the months that you do get the sunlight you gotta have the nutrients and the vitamins that athletic greens has to make it easy Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. In the meantime, we are moving on. <laughs> Bear down, I'll, I'll let you take this one because I know uh... – how much you enjoyed this. Cause I think it just portrays our Joey cold cuts in the best possible, not the, no, def, definitely not the best possible way, but it shows to me, if you want to know about Joey cold cuts, if you need to figure Joey cold cuts out, I would show him, I would show somebody this video of him trying to leave my parking garage. And um, Jet, I, if you could go ahead and, and play the clip um, of this is Joey cold cuts trying to leave my parking garage, Jet, let it rip. Hi, this uh, this machine is is gone. How can I help you? Hi, this machine is gone to hell. It won't work. Hello, madam, ma'am. Here's the thing, okay? The only thing that I could think about, and I'll, cuts. I'll let you speak to this. Bear down. I'll definitely let you speak to this. The only thing that I could think about is the poor lady on the other end that is working her nine to five, just letting people in and out trying to do her job and to approach the conversation in this manner to me is just, it, it, it is sickening. It, it's just, it's not how what, you that I addressed her with respect. No, Joe, come on. That's a, just because you said madam, madam and screamed it. <laughs> doesn't mean it's like, that's not how you it, like it. Well, that's, that's intercom, respectful. Oh God, it's so sick. Bear down, I'll let you it's take old it world. It's old world respectful. It really I, is. I would. I have not by heard the way, that word. I have. Go ahead, Joe. I'm. I was gonna say. By the way, the only reason I was screaming is because she couldn't hear me on the intercom. And by the way, I'm not used to people not hearing me because I portray a pretty loud, boisterous voice. Some may say I have the same, you know, vocal cords as one, you know, Pavarotti. But but bottom line is that nobody is, would ever say that. Yeah, I, I I I would say that. Bottom line is oh. she couldn't hear me, so I was raising my voice for her to see hear me. And I said, "Madam," and then I said, "Ma'am," again to try to address her in a respectful <laughs> tone. I couldn't get out of the fucking parking lot. I was in a in 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 an absolute like bad spot and not to mention bob you this is your parking lot is garbage what what people don't realize is bob took off pair down he was supposed to open the the, the gate for me and he took off pair so down. i had to I pay said, 20 bucks to get out of his own garage i said and then joe, i got triple charged because the fucking machine was not i i had said to joe okay and by the way and then he called the credit card company as if they got anything to do it has nothing yeah, to was do with the charge has nothing to do with the credit card company you got to take Joe, that you up were with right the- though you were right amex that is a good point though amex you could call amex and dispute any charge amex is unbelievable they amex is fucking, my only they don't even care they'll just be like, they'll just be like yeah don't worry you know, about it it's canceled but do you know how many you know how many credit cards cold cuts has Gutsy, do me do me a favor go get your could you get your wallet for me 
Oh, Bob. Oh, come on, Joe. To? Joe, could you get the wallet for me? You got to see this. You talk about a guy with zero discipline, zero discipline. Watch, watch him go into this wall here. You got the wallet? Right, what do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to do? Doesn't, doesn't that stress you out every month looking to see what bill you got to pay? There's a million credit cards. He has. All no right. So this, this is a debit card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Visa debit. Yeah, by the way, because you might Wait, not want to hold it. That hold up to the hold it closer to the screen. This is a garbage capital screen. one. I no, can't garbage. see it. Hold it closer to the screen, please. What is that? A yeah, four, Katsi, one, Katsi, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. You can't see the number. It's on the back. Okay. That's two. This is my preferred right Sapphire Reserve Visa. <laughs> okay, this nice. was this is a big boy. That's three. A nice little limit on this. So this is like a paperweight here, Baird, on this one. Okay, that's right. three. Then we got the Amex. <laughs> I'm leaving this one. We'll go here because we don't want to show the number. That's okay. the Gold American Express. Hell of a company, by the way. Okay, there's four. We got another Visa. <laughs> then we got... Uh, this is my Canadian uh, American Visa Preferred. And then yeah. this was what I had over the uh, pandemic. I don't know why I still have this. this is the, the fucking seven, whatever you call it. He's card. got seven total credit cards. He's got Netflix I said subscription, and my, Hulu my, subscription, my, HBO. He's got the MLB. My package. credit's yeah, through the roof. My credit's through the roof. I'm at 800 credits. Oh, God. You have an 800 credit score, Joe? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you can't complain about that. That's how you do it. You get a bunch of these that. cards, Bob. You pay them off in time. And by the way, you get a little bit of a, you know, if you play the credit card game properly, you get perks for each credit card. Uh, see, to say that you're playing the credit card game properly is a... Is, <laughs> Some might say I'm playing it to profession. Oh. Um, fuck. Yeah, I, I just spared on your thoughts on that, on that. To the to the to the I Uber thought camera. I thought it was the funniest video I've seen so far this year on any yeah. network anywhere any influencer any any content provider I thought it was the most hysterical I watched it I had to watch it at least and I'm not exaggerating and it might be sad for some people but I really don't give a fuck I had to watch it minimally 30 times all the way through minimally okay. 30 and times is that and I would laugh out loud every time he would say madam I would just die laughing I was I just trying to was, be genteel because I have I not so heard pissed. anyone I have not heard anyone not in like a, a Victorian era movie refer to anyone as madam in real life in this day and age I've, I haven't heard it in Ever. So for him to say that in the outfit he was wearing in the situation he was in, I mean, just made it so much funnier. And the poor lady, I, you know, Bob, I hear what you're saying. Like she's just working her nine to five, but you know, those, those kind of situations with customer customer service is just when no. you have to get a human being on the other end of a telephone line these days, it's just always a nightmare. It just that, always seems to be. A I was respectful. But that's I wasn't not bad. Fair down. He, that was the first time he had clicked the button. It was. He was on an intercom. He wasn't calling a, a hotline. I don't think he was rude to her per se. No. I think you know he just said. You he don't just think said, that's a, it was obnoxious? He said the machine has gone to hell. It's not working. I don't think. He's yeah, like, I, I wasn't like, being rude at all. Would be very nice. This is ridiculous. I, I was that screaming or swearing. How did, how did she hold to it, cut? See, how did she take it? She hung she up. She hung up on him. <laughs> oh, it was the second shirt. time. Well, you don't see two. She hung up with me on the other. I tried to go up the other way. And then I had to come and turn around and go to the other side. So it wasn't my first interaction with this woman. Right, she gentlemen. clearly wanted nothing to do with me. Time to keep the ball moving. Time to keep the ball moving here. Um, Adam? Okay. Adam? 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 Um, Ma'am? Fellas, it's time to uh, it's time it's time to get into a top five. Okay, it's time to get into a top five. Uh, maybe twenty minutes prior to the show, we all agreed on a top five. I find it another one to be another banger top five. The food top fives always hit. We want to get your feedback, ladies and gentlemen. So fire on your feedback there. Um, we're going food today. Today is going to be top five sandwiches. Again, that is top five mm. sandwiches. Um, it could be a sub, it could be a sandwich from bread, whatever it is, top five sandwiches. Let's lay it all out on the line. Joey cold cuts. We will start with you, pal. All right. Hold on here, Bob. All right. He's so he's prepared. I am prepared to this time, you know, because we didn't have a last second, you know, top five or any, you know, oh, anything like that. Right all right. Top five <laughs> sandwiches. Here we go. At number five. Give me the old meatball sub, a classic, absolute beauty. Throw some cheese on that thing. 
cannot go wrong. And number four, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to, you know, I had something in my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Something in your teeth. That's for sure. All right. Number four, I'm going to go with the classic clubhouse sandwich. You cannot go wrong. Give me cold cut clam, classic uh, clubhouse. Get a little bacon in there, some turkey, you know, lettuce, tomato on. on and Bob, I think he means a club sandwich. Okay. Yeah, clubhouse. Sandwich. All right, clubhouse. All right. All right. No yeah, one, yeah, no one calls fine. it a clubhouse. Nobody. Yeah. Th that that's what it's not called. A single, a clubhouse not a sandwich. Sing no, not, maybe in no. Canada. This is really, maybe this is off Canada. to a, this is off to a shaky start. Cause yep. you, you don't just, know what you a clubhouse is like a club. I know what a it's, club is. Yeah, it's a I know club what a club sandwich. sandwich. It's not I've a, never heard it referred to as a clubhouse. It's not Joe. Okay, club, whatever. I'm sorry, okay. I use a different right. name. You know the sandwich. It's a classic now, What type sandwich. of club? Okay. What, what type of club sandwich? I like it with turkey. I like it with okay. bacon. I like lettuce. Turkey club. Yeah, turkey club. Turkey club. Okay. okay. There okay. we go. There okay. we are. I swear, yeah, I'm turkey club. in foreign Turkey club's here. a great sandwich. Okay. Turkey club's a great sandwich. All right, club number off, three, so and it's represented on my, on my shirt here today. Number three, give me a lobster roll, all right? Wow. Lobster roll sandwich hits different. Nice play. Nice it does. Though. I like the warm one with the butter on it. It's fucking fuego. Mm. And mm. by the way, yeah. I won't actually, I wouldn't be opposed to the to the cold lobster sandwich. It's not as good, but the classic lobster on the brioche is just unmatched. Okay. Number two, you got to give me a fried chicken sandwich. I'm sorry. That is just an essential sandwich. I need to have fried chicken sandwich. And then number one for me, I, I think to me, it's my favorite. I think it's so good time and time again is the pulled pork sandwich. Pulled pork good sandwich for one is, is my go-to. Wow. I don't have a single. This is why I thought this was good. I don't have one matching sandwich with Joe. Not wow. One. I mean, that is not one. very, very rare. Not very one, rare. Bob. Okay. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. By the way, Kutch, are you fighting a cold? You got I think it's allergies or something here, Bob. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it is. Oh, you got a lot going on over there, pal. I'm trying hard right, here, Joe? Bob. No, we appreciate it. I'm, right? I'm honestly genuinely asking. I'm there, fighting there is... through it like Jordan flu game. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, because Jordan's was a flu. Yours is a cold. But, um, yeah, no, we, we appreciate <laughs> allergies. <laughs> we do. Uh, bear down, we head over to you. Yankees fucking stink, by the way. They stink. Season's over. I um, knew they weren't going to okay. hit this guy. All right, number five, a classic sandwich. It has to be mentioned. It's it, it, to this day when you're five years old, 35 years old, I don't think it matters sometimes. Grilled peanut cheese. butter and jelly sandwich, PB and J. Give me a PB and J sandwich, depending on the type of peanut butter, depending on the type of jelly we're talking about. A PB and J on an Eggo waffle, sometimes unbelievable. Two Eggo waffles instead of bread, sometimes on bread, uh, sometimes on an English muffin. It's just got so much diversity and so much uh, so much character to it. PB and J staple sandwich has to be included. Cannot oh keep PB and J off the list. God. I could not. Number four, the Reuben. Love a good Reuben. A uh, Reuben is just with a Thousand Island dressing, and you got your rye. If the rye bread is toasted correctly, I think a Reuben is just uh, a Reuben is is iconic as iconic comes. Nice deli Reuben. Uh, number three, the Cuban. Give me a Cuban. Little pickle action, little pork, little turkey, little mustard on there. So Bob is making a face at the Cuban. The Cuban's not a good sandwich, Bob. I lived in Miami really? for years, and I find <laughs> the Cuban to be. Really? I mean, there's no yeah. better place. And to he's got Cuban. it at number three. He's got it in his top three. Cuban's delicious. A good Cuban. I just wow. Let him continue. Yeah, Let him continue. Do it for me. I yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Number two, chicken parm sandwich. Chicken parm sub. I think a chicken parm is probably meatball. You said meatball, John. I made a face. I just think meatball's too messy, bro. I think it makes the bread so soggy. Meatball. I just I, meatballs to me belong in macaroni. They don't belong on a sandwich. That's just the way I feel about it. But. I get why you did it, but to me, chicken parm, if we're going to go that route, a chicken parm sandwich, toasted yeah, bread. I don't mind that. Uh, the proper amount of cheese to sauce ratio uh, and, and take me away with that. And then number one for me, because there's so many different varieties of it, but I think it's got to be the Philly cheesesteak. Number one, give me the Whoa. Philly. Give me a cheesesteak. Give me a cheesesteak. So many varieties. You want to do peppers. You want to do onions. You want to do <coughs> cheese. Whiz, you want to do provolone joe's got really big problems over there but yeah the cheesesteak at one i'm gonna go cheesesteak um good that's a good call yeah I'll, I'll you got better you what, as we man. went on i'll tell you what i i 
I love this top five. I think it's great. I mean, for Bear Down to not have one of the top fives, I mean, of any of Cutsy's sandwiches is, well, I, I think to me. The PB&J right? was a terrible decision, but. I think that How shows is peanut a butter and jelly. Because we're not yeah. kids. We're not in recess well, anymore. I, I, here's what I will say. You're giving me. You're, I could get lobster. I'm not going to settle for PB and J. To me, I. Well, I maybe you need feel... to. You know, you're a highfalutin guy, Joe. You know, some of us can't. <laughs> I have exquisite rolls, taste. You know? I just find that to be catering to the crowd a little bit. I think Bear Down when yeah. push comes to shove. I, I am going to call it. I like a good PB and J, bro. I just think when push comes to shove and you have all these other options. It I just, just doesn't there's even there's fucking no come way in. You're taking the PB and no J chance. over, um, you know, anywhere near the chicken parm sandwich or anything like that. You know what I, I mean? I don't think so. If I want a, something light. I think oh. PB and J is a perfect sir. I'll tell you this: if I had the choice between like a BLT or a PB and J, I'm going PB and J all day. Oh, or something no, like no, a light way. sandwich. Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. I, would. I would. All right. Um, number five. I was for my five. I was back and forth between going with the chicken parm sub or going with the meatball sub, and I gave meatball sub the nod. All so right. I- yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna be with Giuseppe there. I gave Meatball sub um the nod at number five. Number four, I'm gonna go ahead and put and it's just tough ordering. Uh, number four, go ahead and give me the pastrami sandwich at four. I got the pastrami sandwich at number four. I almost feel bad not having it higher, um, but give me the pastrami sandwich at four. Number three, give me the classic Italian. I mean, I think the classic Italian has got to make its way up the list. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that at three. And then number two, I'm actually going to go with cheesesteak. I love the cheesesteak play. I don't get to have them often, but boy, when I do, I mean, Cheesesteak to me is kind of like the pizza vibes in the sense of it's hard to really have like a bad one. Obviously, there's better ones than others, um, but cheesesteak is going to be good just about every single time. Um, and then at number one, I got what Giuseppe's got in there. Give me the pulled pork at one. Oh, great play, Bobby Give boy. Pulled pork. By the way, you know what we didn't give enough credit to? That that pulled pork at Riviera that we had. Joe, it was really was on, good. Probably the best picture I've ever taken. I always put it on my Instagram. That got more love, that whole thing. Joe, you really got to look into this cold. Yeah, I'll be okay. All right. All right. Um, gentlemen, honorable mention. Katsi, we'll start with you. For the honorable mention, I would go with the Philly cheesesteak because it is a good sandwich. I, I I do like that. It's just it's hard to it's hard to solidify five sandwiches. It is, it is it's hard. Very it's such hard. A good top five. Very because you hard. could do a top Very ten hard. easily with sandwiches. There's a lot easily. of variety. Easily. I still wouldn't easily. put PB and J in my top ten, but you could still do well, it. I mean, that's a great <laughs> Okay. I'm okay. sorry, Baird. It's your top five. I'm not, I'm, you know, you're, you, you well, know, not the way you're talking. It's not, but okay. But yeah, no, I would say Philly cheesesteak is be my honorable mention. That's a great sandwich. Baird on? My honorable mention would be like something that I could get it. But, you know, the problem is, is like, I want to put something like this in my top five, but you can't get it everywhere. I would not order. That's a problem. I'm going to give you my honorable mention, but if I was in California, I would never order one. If I was in, uh, Arizona, I'd never order one. If I was in Texas, I'd never order one. So it's so like it's so limited where I would order this and feel comfortable ordering it. I get, just give me like a chicken cutlet, broccoli, rob, fresh mozzarella, balsamic glaze. Yeah, that I mean, to I, me is like that sounded that's like bomb. a home. It's a home run. But again, like I just would not feel comfortable ordering that anywhere outside of the tri-state area. A New just, Jersey, New wouldn't. York order. Yeah, I yeah. I love that. I love that. I, I got to go with my honorable mention because I went back and forth on it for so much is I got to give the um, chicken parm sub. But man, the things you can do with the chicken cutlet, whether you want to make that into the chicken parm, whether you want to do what you just did with it, Bear Down, there's so, so many flexible, things bro. that you could do with that chicken cutlet mm. sub. It just sets the tone yep. for everything. Yes. Um, fellas, very good episode. Very good episode. We got a big announcement coming from Giuseppe on next week's episode. So stay tuned for that very big announcement um, for cold cuts. And we got the bear down ride off. We got we're we're gonna have the keep your eyes peeled for <laughs> ride night. Ride night is gonna be coming soon. The ride I don't off ride at night, Bob. I don't ride at night. 
We can two, call it Penn Pelotons. Two big time, <laughs> long time rivals in Paul Swan between my <laughs> bloodbath for the ages. You want to talk Yankees, <laughs> Red Sox. You want to talk Michigan, Ohio State. Packers, and then Bears. Packers, Bears. And then we're talking <laughs> Swan Bear. Swan <laughs> Bear Down Cuz. Very interesting. Very you ever see a you ever see a swan beat a bear in battle before? Wow, they're very oh, graceful. Our, they're very quick. Not, very, it ain't it ain't gonna start now. Might be I very graceful on that Peloton, there, ladies now. and gentlemen. That does it. Another edition of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. Mikey V, Joey Coldcuts. Till next time, gentlemen. <laughs>